How's it going guys? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be messing with this right here home button launcher and doing a kind of a quick walkthrough review of it. Before you do that here on Lollipop when you swipe up you can see off the home button you launch this Google uh, Google search menu or Google now. So we're going to be replacing that and giving some new actions to that button. So we'll go ahead and install the application and uh, this is really cool. So this will go ahead and install and now when we swipe up it gives us an option to uh, select the home button launcher so I'm going to hit always and this is the launcher so we'll do it again here swipe up a little rocket ship shoots off and it shows you Google so again you can hit that and it'll go back to Google now and do your Google search stuff or you can go in here and do some settings so this is where the magic happens in this application and probably the coolest thing I want to show you is how it can auto launch something different than Google. So we're going to go into settings here. And right here is this auto start mode. And then we'll save it. And then we're going to come in here and now we're going to add an application. So what is something that maybe you want to get into and launch all the time and be able to get to very easily. So I use my file browser quite a lot so I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to remove because you can only do this with one application. Google and now we should be good so I'll hit home swipe up I'll launch it once it takes one launch to set it up as automatic launching it and then you'll just swipe up and it'll auto launch it very simply and very easily auto launch that application that's probably my favorite part about it now once you set up auto launch you can't get into configuration unless you launch from the icon and here you can now get back into it so the other things you can do besides auto launch would be go ahead and you can change your theme so maybe you want it more transparent so we'll adjust that you can change your layouts your icon size we'll zoom that up a little bit and some other features in here as well we're going to go ahead and save that see your icons a little bigger and then we're going to add some more icons to it so maybe we want chrome uh, clock for setting my alarm and downloads and hit save you can see now it has quite a few so when you launch up you can get to all your applications very easily and quickly uh, the other thing that's neat you can do is you can change your sort order maybe you want this one on, uh, on top or on bottom you can rearrange them and it's very very simple to use so besides that it's pretty cool you can change your layout you can see there you go now you've got that set up go into settings and the other thing that's pretty nice let's see here is down here number of tabs so I'm gonna switch over to one tab and you got different options for configuring those as well then we can go ahead and hit save and now you have tab 2 see it and now you can add new things into here now this one I'm gonna actually show you how to add shortcuts so maybe you like to look at your battery specs really quick so we can go into shortcuts battery you can add battery and we'll add another one add another one in here uh, maybe you want to get into a certain folder so we'll go ES file browser oh, I did zero we're gonna try that again um, let's say downloads and hit enter and now you can get to that folder really quickly and easily so that's basically what this does it's a very simple interface and allows you to set up some quick launch options instead of the Google search button and honestly I really like this rocket and the launching of any single one app you want is probably my favorite feature of it. But it's very easily customized and a nice little software. So if you guys are interested in something like this, definitely check out the Home Button Launcher. Very, very cool application for sure. Otherwise, guys, if you're interested in any other app reviews, let me know. I'd love to do some more uh, app reviews on different things. If something that you want me to do, please comment in the section down below. And that's going to wrap it up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. <laughs>